Hey everyone, this is Tyler from 643boxbreaks.com bringing you Pack Wars tournament number 42. This is the three final tournaments before Pack Wars tournament of champions number four. Can't believe we've come this far already. Um, the first thing we always have to do is the wild card on the left. Everyone knows the rules. Everyone I think has been in a uh, break before. Basically how it works is you're going to be matched up against one other person. Um, whoever has the uh, young guns trump card in their pack is going to move on to the next round. If there are no young guns or no trump cards, it goes to the lowest numbered base. The winner of the bracket takes both the packs and both the hits. There is our bracket right there. A couple bounties to go along with it. The first person to get a Winnipeg Jets hit is going to get to light the lamp and get a free spot in a bonus box of black. First person to get a jersey or memorabilia card is going to earn two satellites into the Pack Wars Tournament and Tournament of Champions. Speaking of satellites, let's do the random right now. Nope, there's uh, 42, 43, 44, so there's three more tournaments before the Tournament of Champions. It's on every 11th one, so on all the, uh, all the double numbers. Alright, let's do the random three times. Top four after three randomizations earn their way into this tournament for free. There is random number one with Justin on top, Bummer Boy on the bottom. Random number two has Bummer Boy on the top, all four kinds on the bottom. And here we go, top four. Congratulations to Gary, Bummer Boy, Bummer Boy, and Bummer Boy. So three for Jack, one for Gary. Congratulations, you guys. Bummer Boy got the um, Pack Wars satellite as a bonus pack for he He picked that in the Buy It Now prize series. So that paid off for him. We've got Gary and three Bummer Boys. So good luck, you guys. Oh. One second here. Got to get back to my camera. second. There we go. Alright, good luck you guys. We're going to bust open series 2 on the right side and series 2 from 1516 on the left side. So I'm going to spread those out. My helper is already sleeping so I'm solo tonight. Just do the cleanup and the pack opening, everything solo. That's alright. Alright, so here's our first box. We'll do that series in the final. 1819, the new one. So the only anomaly in the rules is a Carter Hart Young Guns or Young Guns Canvas is the highest um, trump card, no exceptions. We pulled a Young Guns of Carter Hart last week, which is pretty exciting. Alright, so here are two for the wild card round, and then the rest should be spread out over the west side here. Open for Connor McDavid. We have pulled both a Connor McDavid program of excellence as well as a uh, Young Guns canvas before. So always exciting when you have a chance to pull a Young Guns of arguably the best player in the NHL right now. Alright, we'll spread these out, then we'll get started with Gary vs. Bummer Boy. Alright, so we're going to start in the wildcard bracket, then we'll spread out the rest of the names. Good luck, you guys. And here we go. Gary is first. Yes, that is true. A Pedersen Young Guns canvas would beat a uh, Carter Hart. I think if we're pulling both of those guys in the same box, then uh, we probably have uh, bigger fish to fry. Not the same box, never mind the same uh, bracket. Alright, so Gary's got an Antoine Bibot Toronto Maple Leafs card. So Jack is going to try and beat that with the Young Guns. 
And Jack does have a Young Guns, and he's got a Boston Bruins Fink Vetrano. So congratulations, Jack. You are on to the next round. Gary keeps the satellite streak alive, so he's going to get another satellite into next week's tournament. Bummer Boy once again, so he's getting all of these cards. He's got a Yarmir Yager against himself. And he's got a Marc Messier canvas. I'm thinking that's a short print. I haven't pulled that one before. Alright, so Jack... <laughs> On to the next round to face himself for the second time. Jack's going to be tough to beat in this tournament. He's got a lot of spots. He's got an Eric Carlson update card. And let's see if we can pull in the Young Guns out of the wild card spot here. And he has an OPG of Dominic Cahoon. All right, so Jack, as I said, on to the next round. Take all your cards, put them all in one stack so it's easier to clean up later. And let's go ahead and spread out the rest of the names. All right, so here we are. We're going to shuffle them around. Good luck, everyone. Starting off with Sean against Four Jensen, Charlie Hanna against Bummer Boy, Johnny Canuck against Sean, Bummer Boy against Bummer Boy, then Bummer Boy against Justin, and all four kinds against Cezeo. So Cezeo and Sean and Charlie Hanna all won their spots for free in the Buy It Now Prize Series number five. So good luck to you guys in your free spots. Then we've got Bummer Boy against Justin, Ed Vett against Johnny Canuck, Bummer Boy against Sean, Bummer Boy against Ed Vett, Bummer Boy against Johnny Canuck, and Four Jensen will face the wild card winner. All right, good luck, you guys. Here we go. Starting at the top, Bummer Boy against Justin A. Jack is first. Winner of the tournament gets to choose their own personal hobby box between Black and Ultimate. Jack's got a Martin Jones. Justin A can beat it with a Young Guns. And he's got a Ben Hutton OPG rookie. So lowest numbered base card is a 264 for Justin. And Jack's got a 309. So 264 takes the round. Justin on to the next round. Next up, we've got Ed Vett against Johnny Canuck. Ed is watching on YouTube. Johnny Canuck is watching live. Ed has himself a Marcus Henneken Young Guns card for Columbus. So right off the hop. Ed Vett is going to have to, oh sorry that Ben Hutton went to the wrong spot. Right off the hop, Johnny Canuck is going to have to pull a trick out of the bag here. Try and pull a jersey card, or at the very least a Young Guns. And speak of the devil, speak of the blue, Johnny Canuck pulls a Robbie Fabry rookie materials. So not only does he pull a nice jersey card but it's a decent rookie Robbie Fabry congratulations and he beats the young guns which means pack wars rules he steals it so Ed Vett and Bummer Boy the first two to fail to advance fear not you guys are gonna get a chance to earn your way into next week's pack wars tournament for free via the satellite because you did not make it next up we got Bummer Boy Bummer Boy has got himself the first Winnipeg Jets hit, and it is Connor Hellebuck. Congratulations, Jack. He's lit the lamp. So Jack earns himself a free spot in a box of black. And so that is spot number 23. Congratulations, Jack. I'm putting your name in for the free spot of black. 
Next up is Sean. Looking to beat the Hellebuck and steal it. He can't steal the black free spot, but he can steal the card. He's got a Chris Weidman rookie. So lowest numbered base is going to take both those cards. Sean has a 261 Arizona Coyote. Bummer Boy has a 253 Anaheim Duck. So Bummer Boy moves on to the next round. Next up, we've got Bummer Boy against Ed Vett. Jack against Ed. Oh yeah, that's right. The jersey is the satellite bounty. So we also got the jersey bounty. Thanks for reminding me, guys. There's a nice hit. Miko Ratanen, rookie. That was in Jack's pack. Ed Vett is next. Ed Vett has a Sergei Plotnikov rookie. So we're going to go to lowest numbered base. Ed has a Ryan Kessler 256. Bummer Boy needs a duck. He's got a Coyote, two Coyotes. 262 is the lowest for Bummer Boy. So Ed Vett on to the next round. And let me write in those satellites for Johnny Knack before I forget. That is the Jersey Bounty Bonus. Thank you to the guys in the chat for reminding me. Alright, next up we got Bummer Boy against Johnny Canuck. The Clash of the Titans here. Clash of the two guys watching in chat. We're starting with Bummer Boy and he's got a canvas of Brent Seabrook. He also has a Boston Bruin in there. Johnny Canuck has a Young Guns, and it's from his Vancouver Canucks and his PC, Jake Vertanen. Congratulations to Brian, and he also had a duck. Johnny Canuck wins the round. Bummer Boy has got another chance out of the wild card spot here. Four Jensen against Bummer Boy. Four Jensen is first, and he's got a Jonas Donskoy, Portraits Rookie. Bummer Boy's already got a really nice stack of cards there out of the wild card spot. And he's got himself a Young Guns, and it is Linus Ulmark. So Jack, out of the wild, gets into the triple threat round. Let's go over to the east side, you guys. And it's 1819 Series 2 now. Starting with Sean against Ford Jensen. Good luck, everyone. Sean is first, and he's got a Robert Thomas Young Guns right off the hop for the St. Louis Blues. So for Jensen, his second spot here, he's going to have to pull out a miracle. Needs a Young Guns or better to stay alive. And he's got a marquee rookie, very nice jersey of those old Anaheim Ducks. But it's not enough to stay alive in this tournament. Sean wins with the young gun. For Jensen has himself two satellite chances in this tournament for next week. All right, next up we've got Charlie Hanna, his free spot against Bummer Boy. Charlie Hanna is first. He's got himself a Brett Howden from Winnipeg, I believe. Nope, from Calgary. I think Quinton Howden is from Winnipeg. Bummer Boy is next. I saw a duck in Charlie's pack, so Bummer Boy really needs a duck or a Young Guns. He's got a portrait of Dominic Cahoon. So let's see, lowest numbered base. Jack has a 257 Arizona Coyote. Charlie Hanna has a Silverberg 252. Charlie moves on to the next round. Next up, Johnny Canuck with another spot against Sean, 1989. Sean's moved on once already. Johnny Canuck has moved on twice already. Looking to make it three here. Third time's a charm on St. Patty's Day. 
Johnny Canuck, look at that. A rookie materials of Jordan Greenway. How fitting. Greenway on St. Patrick's Day, and it is a green jersey. So Johnny Canuck has the luck of the Irish tonight. Let's see if Sean can somehow beat that rookie material. It's going to be tough. He does have a canvas. It's Jonathan Quick. So Johnny Canuck. More like Johnny Caluck. Get it, guys? Get it? All right. Next up, Jack's going to win this round. He's got Jack against Jack. So let's just open his two packs for him. All right, so in one pack, he's got a uh, UC Valamaki OPC rookie. And in his second pack, he has a Young Guns for his Edmonton Oilers, Ethan Bear. It's a decent Young Gun. Congratulations, Jack. He also had a couple ducks in each of those packs. Next up, Bummer Boy once again against Justin A. Justin moved on last on the other side. This pack is for Bummer Boy and he's got an OPG of Noah Hannafin. So Justin's got a tap in here if he can pull a young gun. And he does have a young gun. It is Nicholas Ab Kubel for the Philadelphia Flyers. So congratulations Justin on to the next round. Now we've got all four kinds against Cezeo. Cezeo's free spot. He was the champion in Buy It Now Prize Series number five. All four kinds has a checklist and a young guns of Zach Anton Reese. So it's going to be a tough one for Cezeo to beat, but let's see if he can do it. It is certainly possible. Cezeo has an upper deck canvas card of Martin Jones. So all four kinds wins the round. Cezeo gets a satellite. Let's stay on this side to do the triple threat matches over here on the east. Starting with Sean against Charlie Hanna against Johnny Canuck. Good luck, you three. Sean is first. Sean, I do still have to open up your bonus box of Trilogy. I'm kind of waiting for uh, Cezeo's bonus box of SP Game Use. They're coming in the mail. And then I'll open up those for you guys for the Buy It Now Prize series. Upper Deck Canvas of Jimmy VC for Sean. Charlie Hanna is next. Charlie's got himself a marquee rookie of Luke Johnson. So the door is wide open here for Johnny Canuck. Let's see if he can kick it down with a Young Guns. And he has a portrait of Neil Poink. So we're going to have to go to lowest numbered base. Starting with Johnny Canuck. He's got a Arizona Coyote 262. That's always good news. So 262 is the number to beat for Charlie Hanna. He's got a 286 and a 273. So Sean needs to beat a 262. He's got a 266. And that's as low as it gets. For Sean, which means that Johnny Canuck makes it to the semifinals. Congratulations, Brian. Moving now to the bottom, we've got Bummer Boy against Justin against all four kinds. Bummer Boy is first. And Jack starts it off with a bang. He's got an Anaheim Duck. And even better than that, look at this. A rookie breakout, numbered out of 100, Jordan Cairo. So that is a nice acetate rookie breakout numbered card that can only be beaten by a upper deck Young Guns canvas or better or of course a Carter Hart Young Guns card. So let's see what Justin pulls. Justin's got himself a Evan Bouchard marquee rookie. I think this is in pretty tough here for all four kinds and Justin. All four kinds needs to do better than a numbered card and he's got a portraits of Michael Del Cole. So congratulations Bummer Boy on to the semifinals to face his chat room rival Johnny Canuck. And he pulls a nice rookie breakout card to go along with it. 
So we'll come back to that semi-final in a moment, but first let's go to the triple threat matches on this side. Starting with Bummer Boy against Johnny Canuck against Ed Vett. Ed is first. Ed has got himself a Young Guns. It is Garrett Sparks for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So that's a good start there for Ed. Johnny Canuck is next. And he's got an Andrew Kopp for the Winnipeg Jets. So Ed Vett still in the lead. Bummer Boy needs a Young Guns. This is his wild card spot. And he's got a Jordan Wheel rookie. So Ed makes his way out of the triple threat match with the Young Guns card. And into the semi-final. Next up we've got once again Bummer Boy against Johnny Canuck and this time against Justin A. Starting with Justin. Justin has himself a Young Guns. Vincent Hinestroza. Nice hit there for Justin. Johnny Canuck and Bummer Boy need to find a way to pull a numbered card or a Young Guns. There's a Nikolai Ehlers rookie for Johnny Canuck, but that's not going to be good enough up against the Young Gun. So Bummer Boy looking for a numbered card or a Young Guns canvas. And he's got... It's been a while since we got a base pack, but this is all base for Bummer Boy. Which means Justin A is on to the semifinals, which means that our our semifinalists are four unique members. So we got Justin against Ed Vett on this side, Johnny Canuck against Bummer Boy on the other. So let's go ahead and start it off with Justin against Ed Vett to see who's going to make it to the final and guarantee themselves at least a satellite into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. Justin is first. He's got an Andre Burakovsky. And he had a Buffalo Sabre. Ed Vett needs at least a Coyote. Maybe a Duck. And he's got a Ben Hutton. OPG, and he's got a Boston Bruin, so this is going to be tight. Ed Vett is first. He's got a 368 and a 291 and a 265. So Justin needs to beat a 265. He's got a 270 is his lowest card, and a checklist, which is 449. So congratulations, Ed Vett has moved on to the finals. Let's go over to the other side, see who's going to join him between Bummer Boy and Johnny Canuck. Good luck, gentlemen. Starting with Johnny Canuck. Brian has got himself a Young Guns card. It is Eric Cernak for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So let's see if Jack can pull a rabbit out of his hat here. He does have a lot of cards today, but I know he wants his way into the final, and he's got a canvas of John Carlson, which means that Johnny Canuck is going to face Ed Vett in the final, and it is time for the main event, and here we go. Live from the sold out Air Canada Center in Toronto, Canada! It's time! All right, you guys, here is the final between Ed Vett and Johnny Canuck. Winner is going to take home their choice of a personal hobby box of Upper Deck Black or Ultimate. The second place is going to earn a Pack Wars Tournament of Champions Satellite. And of course the winner is also going to earn their way into Pack Wars Tournament of Champions number 4 for free. So let's start with Johnny Canuck on the right side. Brian has got himself a Jordan Cairo Upper Deck Portraits card. So he's going to need Ed Vett. 
to not pull a young guns. Let's see. Ed Vett has himself. It is a young guns of Alexander Fortin. So congratulations to Ed. He has won the tournament with a young guns pull. Look at that. He had a duck. And I saw Johnny Canuck also had a duck. So if it came down to a tiebreaker, ooh, that would have been exciting. It would have been 254 against 253. But the Young Guns does take the cake. Congratulations, Ed. You are the champion today. Johnny Canuck, Bummer Boy, you guys both had a good run into the finals and the semifinals. Thanks for participating, you guys. Have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday. And have yourself a good week. Starting tonight, in 15 minutes, we're going to have Teeks Buy It Now Prize Series number 6. It is going to be a personal hobby box draft. We've got 10 free boxes that we're giving away personally, so make sure to check out the forum for details. You earn st points in the standings along the way, and whoever's in top at the end gets to pick their first box for free, and then we're going to do a trade period, which is going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, have yourselves a good rest of your evening.